I'm hoping you guys tuned in from watching the video yesterday. This is day number two of adventures at the Ohio River. Yeah! Today we're at a place called Markland Dam. It's in Florence, Indiana. And I've had I have I've had Markland Dam on my videos before. Uh, but we never fished here. Now we're waiting for Missy and Sam to show up. And they have fished here. So, it should be quite the adventure. The downside is, look at these clouds, it may rain. Last night we fished in the rain. That's why I wasn't able to get much video footage. But over in the distance is the dam. And what we gotta do is we gotta walk this way, on down that way, all the way down there to the end, down a big huge flight of steps. Then at the river, we gotta walk all the way up to wherever they're taking us. So I should get a lot of video footage if it doesn't rain. If you guys rain, then I gotta put you in my bag that I'm hoping is waterproof. And yeah, it should be quite the adventure today. Let's get started. Well, we gotta wait for them to get here. <laughs> we thought we was running late this morning. Oh God, was we ever? We started off early, and then we took a road to get here, and only to find out it was closed, so we had to backtrack. Oh my gosh, we had to backtrack some serious miles. And my oh, wife's over here giving me dirty looks. <laughs> it was that far. Two miles. So we thought we was going to be super late getting here. But we're not. We made it right at 9 a.m. Alright guys, we see you down at the water's edge. Down here fishing. Here's my surroundings, guys. Isn't she beautiful? And here's the dam. I'm going to be fishing out that way. And right there's the dam. A place is so... This, this place being so big, if I can hurt the dog, makes you feel so little. The current... I'm going to see if I can show you guys. When we got here, Sam told me to put extra weight on the line. I can see why. The current is nothing but a whirlpool out there. I can throw I got a lot of weight on this line and the current just takes me right down through that way but if you can see the water it's like a big huge whirlpool through here and it's so huge down here it's so wide open I feel so little <laughs> truly amazing place isn't it I'm concerned with that cloud over there though we may be getting wet Okay, we're still here fishing. I'm telling you, the temperature dropped 10 degrees since we've been here. We've been here about 30 minutes. It's already dropped 10 degrees. Oh, man. And over that way, let me try to turn the camera. By the way, I'm holding on to my pole at the same time. <laughs> Angie thinks that's a rain line coming at us. And over this way, we got a barge get ready to go through. They raise the water on the other side so the barge can go through. Well, they get ready to open up the locks. It's like a police siren. But look at this. This is what I see down below me. It's like the ocean. This is so cool. The water is so choppy out through there. Uh, I mean it's so choppy it's just pulling my stuff like this look at this I pull it back a little bit and the current just takes it right back again sticks it on down it's just wild and you got shad jumping up all over the place so cool with that temperature drop this is definitely a unique place to fish it's totally unlike any other fishing I've ever done in my life here. <laughs> I feel so small because everything's so large. The upside of this is the beauty. Obviously, hands down. Where I'm standing at now is sand. All the way through here is sand. 
Look at the big boulders. Especially the one right next to me. And all the way down there is a little bit of sand. But the downside to this is, this is fishing I've never done before. You throw your line out, the current takes it, and it snags everywhere out there because of rocks. But it's just crazy. But it's quite interesting. The weather's cool. It's windy. And here comes a barge. Don't know how well the video is coming in right now. The wind is pretty bad, but we're not fishing anymore. Only one of us is, and that's Missy. Uh, it isn't that you will get bites here. You definitely can catch big fish here. It's just the way the current is. There's so many boulders out there. Every time you bring in, you're getting snagged. And honestly, just to sit back and look at the beauty, to me, is more fun at this moment. There's another barge right over yonder getting ready to go through the locks. He'll go on beyond the other side of that wall and he'll sit there and they'll raise the water. Then when the water gets high enough, they let them on through. Then they let the water out. Then the water come all the way up to where I'm sitting now. <laughs> then it really makes waves. But yeah, this is it guys. Ah. No rain yet, no storms. Beautiful day to fish, but I'm just not fishing right now. Out here in Vivi, Indiana, we was in Florence, Indiana, fishing. We're going to try another spot on the Ohio River. But guys, this is like out of a storybook. Oh my lord, look at this. We had lunch here a few minutes ago, and this was our view. Look at this. And right there is the beautiful Ohio. It's a little bit steadier here. So we should have better luck. The current will take it and hook us and, no, not hook us, snag us. All right, guys, we're headed over and I see you at the water's edge again. And here we are now. Look how much calmer the water is now. That's because we're up the road a good ways from the locks or the dam. Right next to a boat dock and pillars. And over there, I don't know if that's, what part of Kentucky is that? I'm not exactly sure what part of Kentucky that is, but we're gonna throw our lines out. Wish us luck, we'll see what we can do here. The part of the Ohio River here is so much cleaner than where we, where we live. Oh my God, it is just so clean here. Look, if you remember, I got video footage of the Ohio River where we live. Remember how dirty that was? It's just so clean up through here. Oh, it's just so much nicer. And I might be getting a bite. Yeah, good. I haven't caught nothing all day. Just saying. This is the beauty right here, guys. This is one of the reasons I want to fish the Ohio. So we watch barges go up and down the river. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Well, I'm gonna be quiet and I might speed this part up for y'all. Actually started getting a bite halfway through that video so guys this is the life let's zoom right up on them okay oh isn't that so beautiful it's 
so beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna get my line back out and do some more fishing. Here's my wife of Rock Duck. <laughs> she can't stand still. I'm telling you, whenever we go fishing, she gets up and walks and looks for the perfect place to take pictures. And that was my cell phone. <laughs> That'd be a great place to fish. I think today alone we've actually had about three different weather systems. This morning, it got nice and cool. Then we had a little bit of raininess. Now we got the humidity and the sun. <laughs> but we're still, in, we're still sitting here at the Ohio River, having a good time, watching the boats go by. The only one catching anything is Missy and Sam's little one, their son. But you know, it doesn't matter if you catch it or not. It's just the beauty of the Ohio River. I mean, this is just, I don't have the words. Every so often we see the boats come down, barges, listen to the waves, hit the shore, and just look at the beauty. Mmm. Perfect, isn't it? You know, fish isn't, you know fishing isn't going so well when you watch sticks go down the Ohio River. Like that stick right there. <laughs> I was hoping to come to shore so I could pull it out of the water. Just saying. Well, a lot of us had snags. I've been lucky so far. I've had some bites. Ah. So we're just taking in the beauty. Watching the boats go down. Sticks go down. Buckeyes float by. The beauty! Let me rephrase that for all my viewers out there. That may be from the state of Ohio, not that type of Buckeye. Just saying. <laughs> it's pretty sad when I'm waiting for the waves to come in to get video footage of that more than I'm waiting to get a bite on my pole. Mm -hmm. Nothing like getting interrupted with waves with a bite. <laughs> Never fails. I tried it four times now to get the waves coming in as they're making break at the shore. Only to every time I get a good bite and I don't catch the fish. Now it's just hot. <laughs> Damn hot. What people do you know of fishing out here in the heat? Hot, humid weather. This guy, that woman, that guy, that woman. Yeah, we tough souls. We've had too much sun. Trust me, we have. Well, anyway, I'm getting subtle bites. I'm getting good snags. They're getting bites and snags. At least something's happening. I swear, the people I fish with dickering over the video. What gives? <laughs> now he waves. Nah, that wasn't a wave earlier. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least one thing's in our favor. The shad is putting on a show for us. They're jumping out of the water. Now I'm hoping to get one as I'm showing the water now. Of course you guys ain't going to jump out now that I want you to figures what I do for my YouTube channel I swear there's a tree up there we're going to zoom into it because I'm too lazy to walk up to it that way during the editing I can look at it so hang on I can't see if I'm showing the tree or not let me move my oh there it is yeah no is that it oh hell no that's not it there it is from back here that tree looks awesome 
What's it look like to you guys? I won't be able to see it until I do my editing. Just saying, that is an awesome looking tree. My God, I've had too much size. Now this is a new style for fishing. And that's my cell phone. So if any of you guys want this new style, when you fish, hook me up. And I'll tell you how I did this. This is the fine material made out of cotton. Even smells like Tide. It's clean. Yes. My wife says I'm sexy. So for all you single guys out there, hook me up and I'll tell you how I did this. Guys, I've had way too much sun. It's hot. And I had a couple bites. And that's it. And leaf just fell in the water. But it's still beautiful out here. If anything, it's just downright beautiful. And there's my pool. I'm using Lucifer today, by the way. I'm only using the one pole. We're getting the bites, but we ain't catching them. I'll be back. Okay, I just figured something out. It worked twice. We get a snag. All I do, walk way down the coast here until the snag comes off. It's worked twice now. Does that mean it's going to work three and four times? Don't know. Today started off we came fishing. The weather was doing some crazy things. It was getting a little bit of rain. Cool weather. Temperature dropped at least 10 to 15 degrees. It was beautiful. Changed locations. Came out. Had lunch. Came here. I mean, seriously. This is beautiful. Only problem here is we ain't catching them. Except one person was. That's missing Sam's son. He's the only one caught anything today. But it doesn't matter. We make memories, get snags, and make jokes and get too much sun. So guys, uh, this is it, I guess. Um, I'd like to try this tonight, but I don't even know where to go. The time I get home, I'm an hour away from home. The time we get home, I don't know. So, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll go out again tonight. But until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't matter. Hit the dislike button. I don't care. Until next time, come on. Let's get out of here.